friends once again welcome back to advanced mathematics 2 session i hope in the last period or uh, last session we have discussed about uh, vector algebra and uh, differentiation of uh, vectors as it clear right so if the u vector function how do we find out first derivative second derivative and modulus of first derivative second derivative etc right and after that uh, we have calculated uh, or we have calculated velocity and acceleration of the uh, given function right as i have mentioned today we want to discuss about analytical geometry and i asked you to think about analytical geometry or how do we define analytical geometry or how do we study a geometrical properties of uh, various things various things means uh, we geometrically you know the points lines triangles circles etc etc is it clear right so friends as we know that uh, the combination of algebra and geometry we may call it as an analytical geometry or a coordinate geometry or we can say that coordinate geometry deals with the study of the geometrical properties of the points lines curves through the use of algebraic methods right so rane discards in between 1596 to 1650 was the first french mathematician who introduced the system of combining algebra and geometry is it clear and developed the subject which we now call algebraic geometry right or a coordinate geometry or analytical geometry is it clear it was shown that every point in the plane can be represented by an ordered pair x comma y is it clear i hope you know that in two dimensional x comma y x coordinate and y coordinate you can denote a point is it clear p x comma y is it clear and you know that it can be measured from x and y axis is it clear and algebraically it is denoted by p x comma y or uniquely it is defined by p x comma y or in general or in particular uh, p 1 comma 2 right a real number uniquely and conversely for every ordered pair of the real numbers there exists a point in the plane it means suppose if i write p 1 comma 2 corresponding point can be represented as a clear right if you represent a point in a plane then you can write down corresponding algebraic ordered pair as a clear thus each geometrical figure can be associated with algebraic equation in x and y and the properties can be studied with the help of algebraic equation right <coughs> i hope now you are able to define points in two dimension as a clear suppose uh, if i want to define a point in three dimensions right so if i want to define a point in three dimensions then we need three axes namely x dash o x y dash o y and z dash o z as clear as shown in the figure i hope you can understand so this is the x o x o x dash y o y dash z o z dash as clear three mutually perpendicular lines and we know that this axis is called x axis y axis and z axis suppose if i want to represent a point in a space as clear right so how do you denote a point in a space right you can denote p x comma y comma z it means you can measure the distances from x axis y axis and z axis as clear right so like that you can define a point in a space for that reason uh, we need uh, these three equations is it clear that's why that's why i have mentioned uh, you have to draw three mutually perpendicular straight lines is it clear these line uh, these uh, axis right take in a pair determine three planes namely x o y y o z and z o x or simply x y y z and z x mutually at right angles rectangular coordinate axis as it clear so it means that this plane or this part you may call it as an x y plane or this plane you may call it as an y z plane or this plane you may call it as an x z plane as it clear right so take any point p in the 
plane draw parallel lines to the rectangular coordinates planes to meet the axis in ABC let OX is equal to X OB is equal to Y OZ is equal to Z the numbers X Y Z are called the coordinate of P right and the order triple X Y Z is used to denote the point P so it means that you can denote a point A so what is from the origin X length from O to B is Y length of OC is Z is it? so like that you can define a point P in space right the coordinates of P are X comma Y comma Z so like that you can define a point in a space or in particular you can take any numbers P 1 comma 2 comma 3 is it clear right so distance from X axis to P is 1 distance from Y axis to P is 2 distance from Z axis to P is 3 so like that you can define a point in a space is it clear right so now I want to define a straight line is it clear because now we are able to find out points in a space or point in a any axis or point in any plane x y plane y z plane or z x plane is it clear right so now we want to concentrate on a straight line because you have said all the all other things right the straight line is generally regarded as the intersection of two planes right and its orientation is completely determined when the equations are known suppose if you want to define a straight line so we need two planes is clear right so you can concentrate on two planes namely say for example in this x y plane and this is z y plane x y and z y plane are intersection at this line is clear namely o y right so you can say that o y is the straight line is clear i want to repeat once again this part of the plane is called x y plane this part of the plane is called z y plane intersection of these two plane is o y and uh, you can say that uh, we have generated a straight line is clear or algebraically how do you denote let a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 is equal to 0 a 2 x b 2 y plus c 2 z plus d 2 is equal to 0 right be the equations of two planes is clear right intersecting along a straight line a b then these two equations taken together represent equation of the line a b is clear you can take any two planes if you take separately these two represents two separate planes is clear when we take these two together means intersection you may call it as an, a straight line it can be denoted by a into b right hence these equations of the line a b right a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 is equal to 0 and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 z plus d 2 is equal to 0 are taken as a non-symmetrical form or plane form of the equation of the line a b is it clear right so you can take this is one plane and you can take another plane so intersection of these two plane is denoted by a b is it clear or as I have mentioned you can take any other plane right intersection of those planes can be represented by x axis or intersection of these two planes is represented by y axis intersection of these two planes is represented by z axis right all these represents a straight line either a b or o x or o y or o z as a clear then you can write down the equation of a b algebraically you can write down the equation of x axis or the equation of y axis or the equation of z axis right so you will come to know how do you write the equation of x axis and y axis z axis as a clear right the x axis is the line of intersection of x y and z x plane right whose equations are z is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 it means that uh, the equation of x axis are these two z is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 therefore equations of the x axis y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 similarly the equation of the y axis are is it clear z is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and the equation of z axis are x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so like that uh, you can represent uh, a straight line o x o y o z uh, in the form of uh, equations as a clear right so now we want to find out uh, equation of a line in symmetrical form as a clear to find 
the equation of a straight line passing through the point a x 1 y 1 z 1 and having the direction cosines l m n right. It means that uh, here they have given one point and they have given direction cosines namely l m n. Now, we want to find out uh, equation of a straight line that to in symmetrical form right. So, question is how do we find out uh, equation of a line in symmetrical form as clear right. So, here they have given a one point uh, a x 1 y 1 z 1 you can draw a line take any point say p x y z draw perpendicular to x axis uh, namely a l and uh, p m is clear. So, this is x axis y axis z axis uh, right. <coughs> then you can find out the distance between O L and O M right. So, you know that so L M is equal to O L minus sorry O M minus O L as clear. So, L M is equal to we can write down O M minus O L and O M is equal to x right. So, O M is equal to x because the coordinates of P are x y z right and O L is equal to x 1 that is why you will get L m is equal to x minus x 1 right. You may call it as an equation 1. Also L m is equal to L m means what right. So, L m right. So, you may call it as an L m is equal to projection of A p on x axis. So, projection of A p on x axis and you will get equal to A p into cos alpha where alpha is the angle which A p makes with the x axis. It means that uh, you can write down L m is equal to r into cos theta. So, because the distance between A and P is denoted by r is it clear right. So, cos alpha can be denoted by L small l is it clear right. So, therefore, the value of L m is r into L you may call it as an another equation say 2. You observe equation 1 and 2. So, left hand side is uh, L m then you can equate x minus x 1 is equal to r into L as a clear from equation 1 and 2 you can write down x minus x 1 is equal to r into L or similarly you can obtain y minus y 1 is equal to m into r z minus z 1 is equal to n into r or you can write down these equations in this form x minus x 1 by L that is equal to y minus y 1 by m into r sorry m that is equal to z minus z 1 uh, z 1 divided by n is equal to r is it clear right. So, which is the equation of the line in symmetrical form right. Here you can observe x 1 y 1 z 1 is what x 1 y 1 z 1 is a point is it clear right. So, L m n are the direction cosines right. So, any point on the line is obtained from x minus x 1 divided by L y minus y 1 divided by m is equal to z minus z 1 divided by n is equal to r and you can write down each ratio is equal to r right. I hope you will get x minus x 1 divided by L is equal to r. Similarly, y minus y 1 divided by m is equal to r, z minus z 1 divided by n is equal to r right. So, from these equations you can find out the value of x right. So, how do you find out x minus x 1 divided by L is equal to r or you can write down x minus x 1 is equal to L into r right. Therefore, x is equal to you can take x 1 to other side. So, I hope you will get x is equal to x 1 plus L into r and similarly y is equal to y 1 plus m into r and z is equal to z 1 plus n into r as a clear. It means you will get any point the coordinates of x r x 1 plus L into r the coordinate y coordinate is y 1 plus m into r z coordinate is z 1 plus n into r as a clear. I hope if they give a line you can find out any point on the line using this formula is it clear right. So, sometimes uh, they may give more than one point right. So, they may ask you to find out a straight line as it clear right. So, for example, if they give p x 1 y 1 z 1 and q x 2 y 2 z 2 and they may ask you to find out a straight line means equation of a straight line. How do you find out? It is very simple. You can write on x minus x 1 means x coordinate divided by x 2 minus x 1 is equal to y minus y 1 divided by y 2 minus y 1 is equal to z minus z 1 divided by z 2 minus z 1. So, you can use this formula to find equation of a straight line. 
is it clear? So, if E, B, C are the direction ratios of the line, then equation of the line is x minus a x minus x 1 divided by a is equal to y minus y 1 by b is equal to z minus z 1 by c. Is it clear? It means if a, b, c are the direction ratios, then equation of a line is of this form. Is it clear? For example, find the angle between two lines, right? They have given a line, namely x minus 3 by 1 is equal to y minus 2 by 0 is equal to z plus 1 by minus 1 and x minus 2 by 3 is equal to y by 4 is equal to z minus 1 by 5, right. So, we want to calculate the angle between these two lines. How do you find out angle between these two lines? I hope uh, you have already studied angle between two planes, is it clear? So, if they give two planes, we know that how do we calculate angle between two planes, right. Here also uh, you can calculate angle between two lines using the formula cos theta is equal to, right, because you know the direction ratios. So, what are the direction ratios? 1, 0, minus 1, namely from the first equation 1, 0, minus 1 and similarly 3, 4, 5 are the direction ratios of these two lines. According to the formula cos theta is equal to, you can multiply, so 3 into 1, right, plus 4 into 0 plus minus 1 into 5 whole divided by square root of 1 square 0 square minus 1 whole square plus sorry into square root of 3 square 4 square 5 square simplify I hope you will get the square root of 100 as a clear and you can simplify numerator also I hope you will get a minus 2 right. So, you will get the minus 2 by 100 or you will get 2 by 100 that is equal to minus 1 upon 5 as a clear. So, this is the angle between these two lines right. I hope now you are able to calculate angle between two lines right. So, if they give two lines using the formula right and sometimes they may give a line 2 x minus y minus z plus 4 is equal to 0 right and 3 x plus 2 y minus z is equal to 0 and they may ask you to convert a symmetrical form. How do we convert? Right. So, you can take or you can define A, B, C be the direction ratios, then you can write down A into 2, B into minus 1, C into minus 1, is it clear? So, coefficient of x is 2, coefficient of y is minus 1, coefficient of z is also minus 1, you can write down equal to 0, right. And similarly, 3 into A plus 2 into B minus 1 into C, right. I hope you will get two equations two equations and two unknowns. So, you can use any method to solve these two equations, right. I hope after solving you will get 3 by 2 minus 2 1. You can take A is to B is to C is equal to these values, right. So, to find the a point on a straight line, you can put Z is equal to 0 in this equation. I hope you will get 2 X minus Y 0 plus 4 is equal to 0, is it clear? You can write another equation as it is 3 x plus 2 y minus z minus 1 is equal to 0, is it clear, right. So, solving the simultaneous equation again you can obtain x is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 2. It means you can find out the point minus 1, 2 and z coordinate is 0. So, is a point on the straight line, right. So, equation of the straight line in symmetrical form, is it clear. So, you can write down x minus of minus 1 means you will get plus 1, right, divided by the value of A is 3 by 2 is equal to y minus y 1, it means 2 divided by B value minus 2, is it clear. So, z minus 0 divided by C value is 1 and this is the required equation, right, in symmetrical form, right. So, it means they may give equation in a plane form, they may ask you to write down the equation in symmetrical form. I hope you can find out the equation in symmetrical form, right. And sometimes they may ask you to calculate perpendicular distance, is it clear, right. The perpendicular distance of a point P from the line, is it clear. So, what is the perpendicular distance say P m, right. They have given one line and they have given point they may ask you to find out the particular sorry perpendicular distance. How do you calculate? So, you can use this formula. So, P alpha beta gamma 
right x minus x plus x1 divided by l y minus y1 by m z minus z1 divided by n is the straight line. I hope you can use this formula by using this formula you can find out a particular sorry perpendicular distance right. So find the di uh, direction cosines of a line. So they may give a straight line and they may ask you to calculate direction cosines. How do we calculate right. So I want to rewrite uh, this equation. How do you rewrite it? I have written 2x minus 3 by 2 is equal to 2 minus y by 3 is equal to z plus 4 by 4. I have written as it is right. So now you can rewrite it as 2x by 2. It means you can write x 3 by 2 divided by 2 by 2 means 1. Is it, is it clear? Is equal to 2 minus y right is equal to z plus 4 by 4 right. The direction ratios are 1 minus 3 4. As a clear, the direction ratios are one. Thing. Direction cosines are so once you are able to calculate no, direction cosines, sorry, direction ratios using direction cosines, you can calculate. Uh, sorry, using direction ratios, you can calculate direction cosines. As a clear, so one divided by square root of one square uh, minus three whole square plus four square. As a clear, right? So I hope you will get uh, so one divided by one nine four square, right? So after simplification, so you will get 1 by 14 minus 3 by 14, 4 by 14, right. And sometimes they may ask you to prove the line x minus 4 by 2 and y minus 2 by 3, z minus 3 by 6 lies in the plane, namely 3x minus 4 y plus z is equal to 7, right. So you want to prove that they have given a plane and line. Right. So, we want to prove that uh, this line lies on the plane. Right. So, how do we prove that? That is clear. Right. Given line passes through the point 4 to 3. Right. So, then uh, substituting in the uh, given plane. That is clear. You want to uh, say that uh, point lies on the plane namely 3 into 4. Right. So, 4 to plus 3 is equal to 7 is clear? simplify I hope you'll get, uh, sorry is equal to 7 right then you can simplify left hand side is 7 or right hand side 7 it means point satisfies this equation is it clear the point 4 2 3 satisfies the equation right so therefore a lie on the plane one uh, once point satisfies any equation then you can say that uh, that point lies on the uh, plane right so find the uh, coordinates of the uh, reflection or image of the point 2 minus 1 3 right so in the plane 3x minus 2y minus z minus 9 is equal to 0 right so here they have given a point and they have given the plane so now you want to find the uh, reflection of the given point is it there right so direction ratios of the normal to the plane are 3 minus 2 minus 1. Hence equation of the line through 2 minus 1 3 perpendicular to the plane or x minus 2 by 3 is equal to y plus 1 by minus 2 is equal to z minus 3 by minus 1 is equal to r. It means you can write down is equal to r then you can find out 3r plus 2. It means x minus 2 by 3 is equal to r. So therefore x is equal to 3r plus 2 from the first ratio as it clear and similarly from the second ratio y plus 1 divided by minus 2 is equal to r therefore y plus 1 is equal to minus 2r therefore y is equal to minus 2r plus 1 as it clear and similarly z minus 3 divided by minus 1 is equal to r means we can write on minus r plus 3 that is the z coordinate like that you can find out any point on this line as it clear point B is the reflection of A and M is the midpoint of AB. It means that they have given one point, so there is a plane, right. So, M lies on the plane, you want to find out a reflection of the given point. I hope you can draw a diagram like this, you will come to know. And this is the point A, given point, right and this is the reflection and this is the given plane, as it clear and M lies on the plane as a clear. Now you want to find out what I have called it as a B. I want to find out the coordinates of B. 
how do you find out the coordinates of B right. So, first M lies on a plane is it clear find out the coordinates of M right the coordinates of M are right. So, you will get 3 R plus 4 divided by 2 minus R minus 1 minus R plus 6 divided by 2 it means if you know two points you know right. So, you can find out or you can use the mid point formula using mid points formula you can calculate right since M's, uh, M lies on the plane 3 x minus 2 y minus z minus 9 is equal to 0 m uh, must satisfy uh, this plane as a clear. So, 3 into you can substitute uh, these coordinates uh, in the plane 3 the value of x what is the value of x uh, 3 r plus 4 divided by 2 as a clear minus uh, 2 into what is the value of y minus r minus 1 as a clear. So, minus coefficient of z is 1 the value of z minus r plus 6 divided by 2 minus 9 is equal to 0 and you have to uh, simplify is it clear. So, after simplification you get 9 r plus 12 divided by 2 plus 2 r plus 2 r minus 6 by 2 minus 9 is equal to 0 and uh, finally, you will get 14 r minus 8 is equal to 0 right. So, you can obtain the value of uh, r, r is equal to you will get 4 by 7 right. So, put r is equal to 4 by 7 in equation 1. I hope you can obtain 26 by 7 minus 15 by 7, 17 by 7 is the image of the given point or is the coordinate of B is it clear. So, like that you can calculate image of the given point right and sometimes they may ask you to calculate angle between the line and a plane is it clear. They will give one plane and they will give a line they will ask you to find out angle between plane and a given line how do we calculate as clear here also they have given x minus x 1 divided by L y minus y 1 by m is equal to z minus z 1 by n and the plane a x plus b y plus c z plus d is equal to 0 as clear right. Suppose if theta is the angle between the line and the plane right then 90 minus theta is the angle between the line and the normal to the plane as clear. So, this is the normal to the plane. Suppose if it is theta then this angle is a 90 minus a theta right. Then you can use this formula cos of 90 minus theta is equal to a l plus m b plus a n c whole divided by square root of l square plus m square n square into square root of a square plus b square c square right. So, cos of 90 minus theta means a sin theta as clear you can write on the as it is or theta is equal to sin inverse of L A plus M B N C whole divided by square root of L square M square N square as it is into square root of A square B square C square as a clear. So, now you can use this formula to calculate angle between a plane and a line right. So, in this example they have asked us to calculate find the equation of the line through the point it means they have given one point namely 1 minus 2 2 and making an angle say 60 degree 120 degree 45 degree with positive direction of x axis right passing through the points 2 1 3 and 4 2 2 as a clear. So, we want to calculate 1 by 1 suppose uh, if you consider first one since the line making angles 60 degree 120 degree 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis then direction cosines are cos 60, cos 120, cos 45 and you know the values of cos 60, cos 120, cos 45. So, you can write on 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2 right which passes through the point 1 minus 2, 2 as clear they have given right. Therefore, equation of the line R you can write on x minus 1 by 1 by 2 y plus 2 right, divided by 1 by 2 z minus 2 divided by 1 by square root of 2 is it clear right. Then given points 2 sorry minus 2 1 3 and 4 2 minus 2 you can write on the equation of a line using the formula x minus x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 1 y minus y 1 divided by y 2 minus y 1 z minus z 1 z 2 minus z 1 is it clear. So, you can substitute right x minus of minus 2 means you will get x plus 2 right. So, y of minus 1 divided by y 2 is 2 minus 1 
z minus 3 divided by z2 minus z1 is it clear you can substitute all the values and you can simplify so you will get x plus 2 by 6 right y minus 1 by 1 z minus 3 by minus 5 right so find the uh, symmetrical form of the line 2x plus y minus 3z is equal to 3 and uh, another plane is a uh, 3x plus 2y minus 5z minus 5 is equal to 0 is it clear right so they have given two planes you can write down as it is a uh, put z is equal to 0 in the equations uh, we get 2x plus y right replace z by 0 means this term becomes a uh, 0 and is equal to 0 as it is 3x plus 2y z term becomes 0 you will get is equal to uh, 5 is it clear right so, so you can uh, solve these two equations two equations uh, and two unknowns uh, i hope you'll get uh, x is equal to 1 and uh, y is equal to 1 right so therefore the point lies on on the line is 1 1 0 right so equation of the line passing through 1 1 0 is you can use that is x minus 1 by a y minus 1 by b z minus 0 by c you may call it as an equation 1 where a b c are direction ratios of the required line right so how do we calculate a b c since the equation 1 is the line of intersection of 2 z plus y minus 3 z is equal to 3 is it clear and they have given one more equation you can add an equal to 0 therefore it is perpendicular to both normals then it means you can write on 2 a plus b minus 3 c is equal to 0 right and 3a plus 2b minus 5c is equal to 0 right so you can use a particular method you can you are by using this method you can calculate a divided by right two equations two unknowns no right again you can solve by using this method i hope you'll get a determinant method a divided by 1 you have to expand this 1 into minus 5 minus of 2 into minus 3 as it clear after simplification you'll get 1 b by 1 and similarly c by 1 or this implies a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 c is equal to 1 then you can substitute in equation 1 i hope you will get x minus 1 y minus 1 is equal to z or x minus 1 by 1 y minus 1 by 1 or z minus 0 by 1 right it means either you can write down in this form or you can write down in this form so like that you can find out the equation of a line right or sometimes uh, they may give an unknown value in the line and they may ask you to find out uh, the value of the unknown right so in this example they have given find k so that the lines uh, x plus 2 by minus 3 is equal to y minus 1 by 2k is equal to z plus 5 by 2 and uh, x divided by 3k is equal to y minus 5 by 1 is equal to z plus 3 by minus 5 right or perpendicular each other as clear so they have given two lines we want to find the value of k how do we find out the value of k is important right the direction ratios of the given lines are minus 3 2 k 2 as clear so these are the direction ratios of this line and similarly direction ratios of another line is 3 k 1 minus 5 and we know that these two are perpendicular to each other because they have given right if these two are uh, perpendicular to each other then you know the formula is it clear direction uh, ratios are known is it clear suppose if you take uh, 3 and 3k is it clear you have to multiply so minus 3 3k plus 2k into 1 plus 2 into minus 5 is it clear you have to multiply these two direction ratios that must be equal to 0 according to the formula is it clear I hope after simplification you will get minus 9k plus 2k minus 10 is equal to 0 right so that is k is equal to 10 by 7 so like that you can find out the value of unknown right sometimes they may ask you to prove two lines are coplanar right so here they have given two lines right now we have asked us to prove uh, these two lines are coplanar right so what is the condition for coplanar right the condition for the two lines to be coplanar is x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 l1 m1 n1 l2 m2 n2 it means from the two lines you can note down all these values and you can substitute and you have to simplify 
as a clear right. So, L 1 M 1 N 1 L 2 M 2 N 2 right x 1 y 1 z 1 x 2 y 2 z 2 is it clear right. So, it means they have given two equations and you know the formula right. So, these two equations containing all these values simply want to substitute is it clear right. So, after substituting you will get a determinant of 2 minus 1 3 minus 2 4 minus 3 2 3 4 3 4 5 is it clear. 2, 3, 4, second line, 3, 4, 5, third line of the determinant. Then you want to expand. I hope you know the expansion of a third order determinant. 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2 is again 1, 4 minus 3 is again 1. Is it clear? Right? So, 1 into you can ignore the first column, first row, then you have to multiply these four elements. So, 3 into 5, 15, 4 into 4 is 16 minus 1 into you can ignore the middle column and the first row 2 into 5 right. So, 6 into 2 you will get 12 plus 1 into you can ignore the last column and first row. So, 2 into 4 is 8. So, 3 into 3 is 9 is equal to 0. After simplification I hope you will get to minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. It means 0 is equal to 0. Then you can say that so both of the lines are coplanar. Is it clear, right? And uh, I think uh, sometimes they may give two planes, and they may ask you to find out uh, angle between two planes. Is it clear? So how do we calculate uh, angle between two planes, right? So angle between two planes uh, is equal to the angle between the normals of the planes, right? So from any point, consider two planes. They have given AX plus BY plus CZ plus D is equal to 0 and it is a first degree equation and you have studied first degree equations can be represented by a plane as clear and similarly a 1 x b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 is equal to 0 right. They have given another a plane right. Now, you want to calculate angle between these two planes. How do we calculate angle between these two planes right from the first plane a b c are the direction ratios normal to 1 and similarly a 1, B 1, C 1 or the direction ratios of, of the another equation or normal to equation 2, right. So, now we can use the formula theta is equal to cos inverse of A into A 1 plus B into B 1 plus C into C 1 whole divided by square root of A square, B square, C square into square root of A 1 square plus B 1 square plus C 1 square, is it clear? Suppose if they give two planes, you know, so you can use this formula, right. So, in this example, they have given find the angle between the pair of planes, right, namely 2x minus y plus 2z is equal to 3, right, 3x plus 6y plus 2z is equal to 4, right. So, angle between two planes is theta is equal to cos inverse of. So, you know the values of A, B, C as a clear A is 2, right. So, A 1 is 3 and B is minus 1, B 1 is minus 6 as a clear. So, similarly, C is 2 into 2, right. So, whole divided by square root of 2 square minus 1 square, 2 square, 3 square minus 6 square, 2 square. After simplification, I hope you will get cos inverse of 4 divided by you have to simplify numerator is 4, denominator is 3 into 4. I hope you will get cos inverse of 4 by 21 is the angle between two planes, right. So, like that you can calculate angle between two planes if they give two planes, right. So, find the equation of the line through the points minus 2, 1, 3 and 4, 2, so, what you want to calculate? You want to calculate a equation of a line through the two points. They have given two points. Now, we want to obtain equation of a line, right. So, since the line is perpendicular to the plane namely x minus 3 y plus 2 z is equal to 0. Its direction ratios are 1, 3, 2, right. Uh, passes through the point 1 minus 3 
So therefore, equation of the line R you can write down as usual uh, by using symmetrical form x minus 1 by 1 is equal to y plus 3 by minus 3 is equal to z minus 2 by 4 and this is the uh, required uh, equation. Is it clear? And sometimes uh, they may ask uh, angle between the line and a plane. I have already given the formula for the angle between line and a plane. Is it clear? Here they have given line x minus 1 by 2 y plus 3 by 3 is equal to z minus 1 by 2 and the plane x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 8, right. So, solution is, so you know the formula, you can write down, so theta is equal to sin inverse of L into A, M into B plus N into C whole divided by L square, M square, N square into square root of A square plus B square, C square, is it clear? right so theta is equal to so you know the value of l m n right so 2 3 2 right so you can substitute 2 into 1 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 2 whole divided by square root of right 2 square 3 square 2 square as it clear 2 square 3 square 2 square right and similarly 1 square 2 square 3 square so what is the value of coefficient of x is 1 1 square coefficient of y is 2 2 square coefficient of z is 3, 3 square as a clear. I hope you will get 1, 4, 9, right. And we can simplify 2 into 1, 2 into 3, 3 into I hope you will get uh, after simplification you will get square root of numerator is also square root of 14 divided by square root of 17. And this is the angle between the line and a plane, is it clear. So, like that you can use this formula to calculate angle between line and a plane, is it clear? So friends, so far we have discussed about analytical geometry, is it clear, right? And we have discussed especially about a straight line, right? And I have solved various examples about geometry, sorry, various examples about a straight line, is it clear, right? And we have also discussed about angle between two planes, is it clear, right. Suppose if they give two planes, how do we calculate angle between two planes, right. So uh, about geometry or about analytical geometry, we have solved various examples, right. So I hope we can work out some more examples about uh, geometry, right. Uh, I hope I have used um, or I have referred elementary engineering mathematics by B.S. Grewal, right and uh, uh, higher engineering mathematics by B.S. Kreval. So, you can collect some more examples from uh, these two uh, textbooks uh, and you can practice, right. So, finally, uh, I wish to thank the uh, VTU authority for giving me an opportunity to share my experience uh, with you. I especially, uh, I would like to thank uh, special officer. Uh, Sri Ramesh and his entire team. So, thank you, thank you very much.